partner in just a moment with details on that. First, I want to introduce you to the first teacher of spring. Our uh, March Lake Rock Teacher of the Month is Elaine King from Brigantine Elementary School. Good morning. How are you? Oh, much better than I was yesterday. <laughs> Very good. I'm glad to hear you weren't feeling like well yesterday, but uh, better today. Yeah. And, and congratulations yeah. on being our Lake Rock Teacher of the Month. Well, thank you. This is Elaine King, a music teacher at Brigantine Elementary School. You were saying you've been there for 20 years? 21. 21 years teaching mm -hmm. music. Mm -hmm. Your nominating email comes in from Jill Tate, the mom of several of the students that you've had over the years. I guess you have Ashlyn now, and you've also taught Lindsay and Lauren. And Jill yes. writes, we nominate Mrs. Elaine King because she inspires my girls and all the children at Brigantine Elementary to enjoy, love, and play music. She uses a multicultural approach to teaching the children instruments, song, and dance. The children learn where the music comes from, why it was written and played, and then she teaches them how to play or sing it themselves. Brigantine Elementary has an annual arts night where our school is turned into a live art show with music dance and instruments organized by mrs king besides this amazing production mrs king also offers ukulele and guitar lessons to all interested students we are blessed to have mrs king at brigantine elementary and her gift of music in our school please consider her as the light rock teacher of the month Wow, that's lovely. That is lovely. <laughs> Indeed it is. And so you are the new Light Rock Teacher of the Month. Let me ask you straight out, as a parent who has kids who take piano and now are taking wind instruments, how, mm -hmm. how much forced encouragement should parents be giving kids who are not really feeling the instruments, but you know it's just a matter of time till they realize what a great idea it is to play an instrument? Boy, that's, that's a tough one because I went through it as a kid myself, but it was worth it when I hung in there. And so I guess maybe I would say, you know, give them a period of time and say, you know, you're going to love this if you stay in there. But if they don't practice, they're really not going to like it because they're not going to feel successful. It sounds like you bring a real energy and obviously a passion to it that is probably very inspiring to the kids. Well, I hope so. Uh, we have an awful lot of fun, you know, doing doing what we do. Arts Night sounds like it must be a massive production for you, getting all those kids, the instruments together and the production together. Do you do all that by yourself? Oh, heavens no. Okay. <laughs> no, actually, um, the art teacher that I work with, Terry Gregg, is, uh, is a huge, she's really the organizer as well as the art teacher, but she just papers the walls with, every piece of art that the kids do. And uh, we have probably about over a thousand people that come through the school on arts night and they see the artwork and the dancing and the singing. And it's a, uh, it's, it's a great evening. That's great. Well, as our teacher of the month, you won a membership to Island gym, a fresh fruit arrangement from BF Mazio, a $50 gift card to Hamilton mall and a pizza party from Capri pizza and grill in Northfield. And Ashlyn Tate is in the running for a $2,000 scholarship that awesome. we will award at the end of the year. You sound like you're doing a great job. So keep it up. Thank you so much. We are still looking for three more Teachers of the Month to round out this school year. So if you know of a teacher you think is doing an excellent job with your son or daughter, let us know at lightrock969.com.